Hi guys, in this video I'm going to get into scope of variables and what scope means is the lifetime of a variable. So let's see, let's write a subroutine here, I'm just going to call it test and I want to declare a variable so I'm going to do dim x as integer is that uh, let me just do that and what I'm gonna do is set the value of X equal to its current value plus a hundred so X is originally zero in the computer's memory and I'm going to put a hundred into that zero and uh, it's gonna have the value hundred in it then I want to do a message box message box X um, and let's see x in sub one so all i'm doing here is uh, displaying the variable x in a message box with the title of the message box x in sub one so let's run this if i just hit run um, you'll see x in sub one is a hundred okay so now that's not too hard to understand. So let's just step through it real quick. I declare a variable integer. Um, I have the locals window down here. So if I step into it, X has the value 100 in memory. And then I just take that value X and display it in a message box. Okay. Now what scope is, is that um, as soon as I press this N sub, that value right here in memory is going to be erased. So the lifetime of that variable will end as soon as I hit this button right here. So right now, that variable in memory no longer has 100 in it. Um, there is no value of x in the computer's memory anymore. So what scope is about is, what if you want a variable to remain in memory after you click end sub, um, after the sub ends? So let me, let me show you how you do that. You do uh, static x as integer. So the only thing you change is instead of dim, you put static here. And what that is going to do, let me actually do y. And what this is going to do is for this new variable y, this variable, because I declared it static, it's the same thing as this variable. It's an integer variable, but the only difference is it has a longer lifetime. After the sub ends, y is still going to have 100 in it or 200 or 300, whatever value in memory, it'll still have it. So let me show you that. I'll do a message box here. And I'll just do, I'm just going to put Y in a message box. So now if we step through this, right now, you look, X has value 100, Y has value 100. And now I do the message boxes, and X has 100, and Y has 100. Okay, cool. But here's the cool part, is that because I declared this static, Right now, in memory, y still has 100 in it, whereas x doesn't, because x is a local variable that is erased uh, when the sub ends, whereas if you put static, it's not erased. So if we run this again, you'll see that in memory, y has a value of 200, because it stayed in memory as 100, and x um, still has 100 in it because it was erased and then it was recreated but the value y persisted in memory so that's pretty cool and then if I run the message boxes you'll see x is 100 and y is 100 is now 200 and if I run this again so let me just run this again I get x is 100 and y is 300 so y y persists in memory so that's that's what uh, scope means the lifetime of the variable what is the scope of the variable how long does it last that's what scope is about so let me just write a comment up here so I'm just gonna put this variable can only be used in in tests I'm gonna put test in the subtest and it is erased after sub ends so this that that variable X can only be used in this uh, module or in this subroutine and its value is erased uh, this variable y can only be used in this in this uh, subroutine test but its value it persists after the sub ends okay so that's cool um, but now let's say we want a variable 
that even lasts longer so that we could use it in, in other subs in this module. So if I just create a new sub here, sub test2, and all I'm, all I'm going to do is um, declare the variable that can be used in multiple, mod, multiple subroutines. And how you do that is by going up top and go dim uh, z as integer. And what this does, because it's not in any subroutine, it's declared at the top. And this can now be used in any subroutine in this module. So if I, if I assign it a value in here, z equals z plus 100, notice that I don't have to declare it again in this, in this subroutine. So I declare it up top, and I never have to declare it again. I could start using it right away. And let me just put a message box here. I'm just going to put z in the message box. And I'm just going to copy these message boxes and go down to the, the sub down here. And I'm just going to change this to say 2, 2, and 2. So now let's run this. And what we're going to see is that the only variable that will be accessible in sub 2 is going to be that variable we declared at the very top. These two variables are not going to be accessible in sub 2. Whereas all the variables are accessible in sub 1 and two of them are going to persist. This one is going to persist in memory and so is this one. So uh, I should put in here that uh, can be used in any sub and persists. So this is going to persist and it can be used in any subroutine. But only in this model, any sub in this module, only in this module can you use this. You can't use it across modules. Okay, so let's run this, and uh, if we go step through this, you see that z is 100, and x is 100, and y is 100. Okay, that's cool. So now the sub ends. So the variable y here is erased because it was declared, or the variable x is erased because it's declared dim. y in memory right now still has 100 in it, and so does z. So let's see that. Let's go down to this sub. And oh, actually, um, let's just yeah, let's let's see that. So if I run it again, I get z is 200, x is 100, and y is 200. Okay, so that that was because uh, z and y were 200 because they they persist, z and y. Okay, so now let's go down here to this other module and let's run these message boxes and see what the value is in memory. And what you're going to see is that z is 200 because we declared it at the top of the module. The other ones don't have anything in it because they can't be accessed. So that's how that's the scope of uh, these are module-wide variables up here. They can be used in any mod any subroutine in the module, and their value persists. So let me run it again. Uh, z is 300, x is 100, y is 300. And that's we just ran this subtest. And if I go down here in this uh, sub, you're going to see again that the only variable that uh, is available is z, because the scope of that variable is across subroutines. The other ones are not accessible across subroutines. So, so that is all scope is. Um, it's it's just about how long does a variable last in memory. But there's one more element of scope, and that is what if you want a variable to be able to be used across modules. So let me go here and uh, let me insert another module. And now I have this module 2 here. So let me write a sub uh, test mod 2. And all I'm going to do is declare a variable at the very top here. And I'm going to declare it call with, with the keyword public. And let's see, public q as integer. So all I did there, declare another integer variable. And I'm just going to go down here and do the same thing. Q equals Q plus 100. And now I'm going to do another message box here. And we have Q in, Q in sub 1. Yep. So I'm just going to copy that, go down. And I'm going to show you that. 
because it's public you could use it anywhere it, across modules across subroutines anywhere and let me just copy these message boxes bring them over here and put it in here so now this is module 2 and what you're gonna see is that only the one that we declared public is gonna be accessible <coughs> in this module so let's run this again and I'm just gonna run it and I'll press run so we have Q is a hundred Z is a hundred X is a hundred and Y is a hundred and then if we go to sub 2 um, there's gonna be two variables that have values in it because they persist in memory the two that are gonna have values in it are the ones that are declared up top and this one is going to be, be both of them are going to be able to use across modules so so let's see that let's run this sub test sub 2 if we do that Q is a hundred Z is a hundred and the other ones uh, don't have any value in it okay so now let's let's test going across modules now all I'm gonna do is run this and all you're gonna see is that the only variable that has a value is Q so Q has a value none of the other ones have a value because the scope of Q is is the biggest scope there is it's a public variable it can be used um, across modules and across subroutines so um, that is all I wanted to say about uh, scope uh, just remember that it means how long does a variable last in memory and um, yeah that's it so if you have questions uh, remember go to excelvbasql.com and you can watch all the videos and download the the files and the macros and if you have questions uh, send me an email at excelvbasql at gmail.com or you could contact me on the contact page uh, thanks a lot and talk to you soon